Timasek invested in a series of FTX's round findings that led to its $32 billion valuation in January. Singapore state-owned investment firm Timasek, a shareholder at FTX, is reportedly engaging with the cryptocurrency exchange in the liquidity crisis that led to its unexpected, and still pending, bailout on November 8th. In comments to Reuters, the Sovereign Wealth Fund said it was aware of the developments between FTX and Binance and are engaging FTX in our capacity as shareholder, avoiding providing further details about the case impacts on its portfolio. Timasek invested in a series of FTX's round findings that led to the exchange's $32 billion valuation in January. Ten months later, the Singaporean firm is taking part in rescuing the exchange. Timasek participated in FTX's Series B, Series B extension, and Series C funding rounds when the exchange raised $1 billion U.S. dollars, $420 million U.S. dollars, and $400 U.S. dollars, respectively. Some shareholders learned about the agreement via Twitter on November 8th. In his letter to shareholders sent later on, Sam Bankman-Fried, a.k.a. SBF, apologized for being hard to contact in the past days, acknowledged he has no idea what exactly the agreement with Binance means, and lastly, closed the letter saying you will be quite swamped in the coming days and will write again when I have time to. SBF letter to investors released. Will Clementi at W. Clementi III, November 8, 2022. FTX was backed by other big players in the venture capital scene, including Sequoia Capital, BlackRock, SoftBank, Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, Paradigm, Circle, Ribbit Capital, Allen Howard, Tiger Global, and Multicoin Capital. As reported by Cointelegraph, some of the largest crypto companies are being urged to be transparent about risks they are exposed to following the liquidity crisis that fell over FTX and trading firm Alameda Research. To the Chief Technology Officer Paulo Arduino clarified in a tweet that the stablecoin issuer has no exposure to either of the distressed firms. Similarly, Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire also denied rumors of the firm having exposure to FTX and Alameda. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of crypto exchange Coinbase, also took this opportunity to assure its users that the firm has no material exposure to FTX or FTT. As the FTX and Alameda crisis unfolded, Binance CEO Chomping Zhao promised to implement a way to provide full transparency of the exchange's reserves by using a proof-of-reserve mechanism using Merkle trees.